Hello, welcome back to Georgie B. Um, today I'd like to show how I made this card. I made this card using a new stamp set. It's called Quiet Meadow. It's in the new catalogue which you can order as of the 4th of May. Um, there is dies to go with it but I haven't got them yet. I just wanted stamp sets. So, and I've used this lovely flower stamp and the splatter dots. That's all I've used out of that. Now I have paired this up with a retired stamp. Happy birthday. And I'm just going to use that happy birthday. I wanted a long happy birthday, a delicate one as I call them, uh, for this. And that's the only one I've got, so I'm using that. Um, the embossing folder is this one. It's a Darius embossing folder. And it's just diamonds. Which I've already used. So I've got that one. And this card, by the way, is a 5x7. Now the reason it's a 5x7... Stamping up are bringing out a die similar, very similar to this one, where it's all got a nice lacy border in the new catalogue. I couldn't wait to get that. And I've got this one, which is a Spellbinders die. There you are. I never cleaned it out either. Um, yeah, this is a set, a Spellbinder set. Um, so I use that. Now, I haven't used this for absolutely years. And I found out why I don't use it. It's because this is a nightmare to get out the die. So that's why I don't use it. But when the Stampin' Up! ones are available to us, I shall get the set for that. So I've got that. I've got a card base of five and five eighths by three and seven eight, no of ten inches by seven inches scored at five inches. I have another piece that I run two pieces actually at six and a quarter three quarters by four and three quarters one for the inside and one for the top and this is the one I run through the embossing folder as you can see not be able to see yeah so that's the one I run through the embossing folder and did I stamp anything inside oh yeah my normal stamp I stamped inside so I'll keep that out and then we have this one now this measures six by six by four so it is too big for a normal, our normal A6 cards. So that's why I've done a 5x7 card. So let's get started with our stamping. Now I've got the flower mounted on a block. And with my Memento ink, I will ink it up and we'll stamp it down. I'm stamping it sideways so that I can get a good stamp and I'm placing it in the middle she says like that does that look nice? Right, with my Versafine, I am going to stamp the happy birthday. But I want to make sure that it's on my block straight. So what I'm going to do, is Right. Yeah. 
but I'm getting this and I know that they're happy the middle of it is there no, the end of the happy is there so I'm going to put that there like that I think that looks nice All right, and we also want our my normal sentiment that I put in the middle that was a bit dangerous putting that ink on top of my white cardstock oh by the way this is basic white as it's now called won't stay on And we'll just stamp that down there, like that. I'll clean my fingers so I don't get ink all over the card. And that's us finished with that. So that will go inside our card. And now we just have to colour this in. Now I've got Inks. I'm not doing it blue, I'm going to do it in Rococo Rose. But first, we're going to do our leaves, which I've got old olive. And we just colour all these skinny leaves in. Some lovely stamps in the new catalogue. I did get three, which you will see eventually. Right, that's all the leaves coloured in. Now for the stems. I've got it in uh, crumb cake dark. Concentrating. So I don't go over the lines. <laughs> Oops, missed one. Right. Got go co light and we're just gonna colour in. Nothing fancy. Colour in each petal.
Hope you're all keeping well. Don't know if I've filmed some something out. Yeah, I'm allowed out to play now. I haven't been out much. I think I've been out three times since the 1st of April. And I've had my hair cut. Nine o'clock on the 12th. Oh, well, yeah, the 12th, the hairdresser's open. And our dress, hairdresser comes to the house. And she was here nine o'clock on the 12th. Uh, we were her first customers. And it just felt so good to have a haircut. There we are. And then with Mango Melody, we just colour the centres. Looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Right then, with the splatter dots and Rococo Rose. I think I might need to stamp off. No, I don't need to stamp off. Right, I did one there, I did three of these, one right through the middle, and one on that side. And that is how I did the splatter dots. So that is our card done. All we've got to do is stick it all together. That will go on there. So let's glue this down. I actually refilled all my glue bottles with my Cosmic Shimmer Glue. I know someone did ask what kind of glue I used. And I have said in previous videos. I used Cosmic Shimmer. As I do like that glue. And I use... Four bottles in 18 months, which I don't think is bad. Alright, put the lid on with glue because this is going on dimensionals. There's quite a bit. Of these one in each corner one in the middle and two down like that There we are. And then we just place this on here. Even an even border all the way round. Now I have got some 
pearls and I'm going to stick one. I have coloured these in with the dark marker pen. Not marker pen, the blend pen. So I use dark Rococo Rose to colour these in. That way I have got pearls that match my... So I've got some purple ones, some blue ones, rich raspberry ones I never use, more uh, Rococo Rose. So there we have my card. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to comment. And if you've got any questions, put it in the comments. I will answer them eventually. Um, like, share, subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be get notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.